as well on a tough day at the office, what was your assessment on that? I thought we started well, I thought the first 20-30 minutes we did a lot of things we wanted to do. We got on the ball, we got in the areas we wanted to get into and we caused uh, some problems. They had a spell then, as you'd expect, where we were maybe on the back foot, having to defend, but we did that last week and weathered the storm. Uh, so it's then disappointing to so free kick is identical to the one he scored last week, so uh, probably could have done better on that. And then I would have taken going in 1 0 down and thinking, you know, it's maybe going to get us at the end of the first half. But to go into 2 0 gives us a bit of a mountain to climb. Uh, and then we tried to tweak things to start the second half. We had more of the ball, we had a bit more control of the ball, but we didn't do enough with it. And then how quickly they scored the third goal really kills us. And uh, it's, it's more. Uh, mistakes if you like we've, we've cost ourselves either giving the ball away not moving it quick enough just things that we can be better at you know preventable things so that's a disappointing thing um, and listen there's we are all applauded last week when we were very good and then not so good today so we just need to take our medicine but there's some positives in there we get uh, Louis Mellon back on the pitch we get Ross Davidson back on the pitch uh, Cooper Knox did well when he came on Cameron Kinley did well when he came on um, but there's some in between there that's just we need to get a level of consistency from you know, how well we played last week. You know, it just dropped too much today. Yeah, do you feel losing the, that goal and then that second one shortly after, just before half time, sort of the window of the game a wee bit? I did, listen, I'll take the first goal. Do you know, they scored a good free kick. Not like you can do about it. You probably shouldn't have given it away. It's a good free kick. Um, and if you got, I say, if you go in at half time 1 0, do you know, you're still in the game. 2 0 makes it difficult, but not impossible. And we spoke about that little can we stay in the game? Don't be gung ho. Don't give another one away. We need to get the next goal. And just how quickly that goal came, and it's probably prevent preventable again. That that one probably really kills it. Do you know the game's probably really done then because we didn't carry enough of a threat the other way when we put the ball in the box. We looked like we might do something, but we never got up the pitch enough to do that. We had a lot of the ball in our own half. So two 0 is kind of you can climb that, but three 0 probably really does kill it off, and then uh, they just you know really kill us off at the fourth at the end, which is disappointing. I think we became too ragged, um, and we need to react better when it kind of the game. Game goes like that. Yeah, you touched on earlier. One positive thing today is getting those Melbourne and Ross Davies and Brandon to fix us for the league for them, especially Ross after missing nearly a year of football. Yeah, it's been difficult. It's been difficult. I think it's nearly the best part of the year he's been out and you know, he's had to do the grind through the winter on his own. And, uh, we've made some changes uh, in the backroom staff. Uh, obviously, the doc's still here, but new physio, new sports scientist. And, uh, he's made really good progression really quickly, um, but we're still trying to be cautious with him. You know, we were very limited on how long they could play today. Um, but just to get them back on, give them a lift, give us a lift. Um, and, and there's one or two others that aren't too far away in the next uh, week or two, hopefully, Joe building the squad. Boys have done great, you know, two wins out of four in the, in the opening games um, to give us a, a half decent start. Um, and listen, we knew it was a difficult starting point where you know, squad wise we were. Uh, and we've added some good players in that. It's going to take a little bit of time to put it together. There's still some young players in there that have, have done great up to now. Do you know that little bit of inconsistency today. Um, and we just need to be a little bit more steady on, on where we are in performances. But um, to get the two wins out of opening four games um, is pleasing. And listen, you all think you can do a bit more, but from where we're starting, um, plus what we have coming back, hopefully, do you know, we can kind of build the squad a little bit and kick on. Finally, we're back home next hour. Both sparring's back here. How do you pick the lads up and go again for that one? I don't think it's a problem. I say, do you know what I mean? They've, they've worked their socks off. They've, they've been really receptive to what we're trying to do. Uh, good bunch of boys. Uh, because of what I inherited here, do you know what I mean? I've probably signed most of them, so I kind of know what they're about. Um, and it's just some, some of the understandings with me. Uh, I don't think, maybe apart from Callum Crane's the only one I worked with before, do you know what I mean? So it's just, you know. Little things that maybe we're asking, it takes a little bit of time, it's a little bit disjointed. You know, the big teams down in England get like, oh, it's taking Chelsea X, Y, and Z long to put it together, yet we have to hit a uh, the ground running with our team. So it's going to take a little bit of time. Say, we were very good last week, uh, okay, in the first 30 minutes today, and then it fell away. So I don't think there's any issue on that, but we just, a, a level of consistency that we know what we're getting, and then, you know, can we be the right side of the line more often than you know, the wrong side? Excellent. Thanks a lot. All right, thanks very much.